protecting life and upholding human dignity. Moving on, after conclusion of the first African summit on climate change, Kenya has launched the Green Data Center Practitioner's Guide, which was developed jointly by practitioners, policymakers, and data center technicians. The guide aims to initiate a debate highlighting the importance of adopting sustainable environmental practices for data infrastructures. Kenya is planning to construct its first data center in Ivasha to offer data services to Africa. Willie Lusige with that report. In today's digital age, data infrastructure, including data centers, now play a pivotal role in supporting public management and efficient service delivery. However, these essential components of modern society comes with challenges. Data centers being the next big thing in the tech industry, they are energy intensive, consume valuable resources, and contribute to greenhouse gas emissions. To ensure sustainable digital transformation, efforts are being needed to manage green digital infrastructure, manage climate risk and reduce environmental footprints. The fastest growing continent in terms of internet penetration, even though we are not there yet, we are the fastest growing. And so there's nowhere else to go when it comes to data apart from Africa. The demand for data storage and data processing is skyrocketing, not only, not only in Kenya, but also in Kenya. Um, the global data center market is expected to grow by nearly 5% per year. We want to discuss ways in which we can promote the investment in, in digital and data infrastructure that is needed to promote digital transformation, but also how we can do it in a sustainable and in a smart way. After a successful African Climate Change Summit held for the first time in Kenya, and as the country looks forward in setting up the first data center in Naivasha, a green data center practitioner's guide has been unveiled. This development places, of course, a very significant burden on our environment uh, due to the energy consumption and carbon emissions associated with traditional data centers. We, we were launching a report looking at data centers and what could be guidelines for not only for protecting data centers from climate change, but also f uh, uh, how to uh, develop data centers in such a way um, uh, that, that we don't contribute further to, to the problem. Stakeholders have hinted that the guide will be used to formulate guidelines in construction of green data centers in Africa and beyond that are climate resilient with sustainable building designs that allow sustainable cooling and e-waste management. It's really about, for example, looking at what are the policies that need to be put in place, uh, how does uh, the private, private and the public sector work. The guide stresses the importance of contextualized strategies that address local challenges and offer a solution to low- and middle-income countries. Will Lusigiketi News, Nairobi.